Not the retiring justice of the Supreme Court, Mr. Dadito uh, Mohammed, uh, opened the Pandora box uh, on Friday with his brutal criticism of the absolute powers of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, when he fought the composition of the panel that gave the Supreme Court judgment that affirmed President Balatinubi's election victory on Thursday. Drawing on his wealth of experience as a judge, he also fought the absence of the Southeast region from the Supreme Court's bench, a situation he blamed on the absolute powers vested in the office of the CJN. Mohammed, who clocked the mandatory retirement age of 70 yesterday, dropped the bombshell at the validatory session held in his honor at the Supreme Court's complex in Abuja. His outburst was the first of its kind, frontal criticism of a sitting CJN whom he said enjoyed over-concentration of oversight and administrative powers across the nation's judiciary. All the justices who hear these matters are grossly overstretched and able to meet the demands of their other assignment. The litigants who approach the court seeking justice are left in limbo, waiting endlessly, endlessly for justice to be served. These, as I have said before, are avoidable. While I exit today, the North Central Zone that I represent ceases to have any representation until such a time new appointments are made. My Lord Honorable Justice Ejembi Eko, who also represented the Zone, retired on the 23rd of May 2022. My Lord Honorable Justice Sylvester Amwani Mbuta, Yes, he died on the 7th of March, 2021. I repeat, 2021. There has not been any appointment in his stead for the South East. To ensure justice and transparency in presidential appeals, thank God we have been hard and determined. All geopolitical zones need to be represented they are required to participate in the hearing of such abuse. It is therefore dangerous, or it was therefore dangerous, for democracy and equity for two entire regions to be left out on the decisions that affect the generality of Nigerians. However, the CJN, Justice Ariwola, who confirmed that the Supreme Court now has 10 justices on its bench, the lowest number of justices in history, assured that efforts are in top gear to elevate our size of justices to the bench of the Apex Court. His Lordship's retirement today has further depleted our ranks and opened a yearning gap that will hardly be filled with him leaving us today after the retirement of Honorable Justice Adamua Amina Augi a few weeks ago. We are now left with just 10 justices on the Supreme Court bench, being the lowest we have ever had in contemporary history of the court. However, I can confidently assure all the litigant public that efforts are in top gear to get on board a sizable number of justices to boast our rank and complement the tremendous effort we have been investing in the business of the court. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.